Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 12, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this episode is coming off of last episode, which most people weren't a fan of. I didn't really like last episode, I thought it was probably the weakest episode of the whole season. And going into this episode, I was obviously excited, and this episode was really good. I really liked it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So at the start of the episode, we start with Iris in the mirror world. And so she meets Eva, who turns out to not be a bad guy, but she's basically the new mirror master. She can control mirrors. Like there is one bit where a piece of like a shard of the mirror just like comes flying towards her and she picks it up in her hand and also she fixes the mirror towards the end of the episode. So I liked her, I thought she was interested and I'm excited to see like more of her but for now Iris and her are still stuck in that mirror world and that was part of like the whole episode. Also remember Iris wasn't in last episode properly, we've had this fake like duplicated cloned version of Iris for two episodes so I'm kind of happy that they're sticking to it and that they haven't like rushed this. So I'm looking forward to seeing the sort of conclusion of all of this because it is a decent amount of time that real Iris has been stuck in this mirror. So they're stuck in this mirror version of reality. She's been here since the particle accelerator explosion which sent her into the mirror and obviously gave her metahuman powers. And so obviously with this we get the revelation that Iris in the real world is a clone or like a duplicate of real Iris. And so that's kind of interesting. Obviously she has her own sort of motivations, she's like this mirror version of her, so obviously she has devious intent somehow, we don't know to what extent, however she does make Barry actually give her the mirror gun, which obviously links to the fact that she is like this mirror version of Iris, so is she going to be like the new mirror master instead of Eva, is this version of Iris the new mirror master, and I think that would be really interesting. Obviously, I think when Iris gets out of the mirror world, this other version of Iris is still going to be around, so they're going to have to defeat her somehow. Because, yes, yeah, she is playing with everyone, and she doesn't seem that bad. She does have that sort of evil intent behind her, you can tell by, like, every scene that she's in. And anyway, so we get this nice little mention of, like, Earth Prime. We get to see Kara and Lex Luthor on a magazine or something like that, and... So I just really appreciate like things like small little easter eggs like that where they sort of link it to these other shows still. And so we have Barry, he's sort of aching from Valentine's Day and this version of Iris still being a bit off. Barry's still kind of surprised like Iris saying like son of a bitch or something like that. You can tell that there is something wrong and that you know Barry's sort of starting to get these signs although he still doesn't figure out this episode and he's still played by her but you can tell at points he's like hmm what is going on and so you have sue in this episode and she meets ralph and so her apartment blows up ralph meets her and basically you know she tells this fake story it's revealed that she fell in love with a murderer and she needs to expose this guy this guy john and so that's the story she plays with for most of this episode and so you have these cool scenes with like jazz music in the background ralph and sue doing detective work and teaming up and I really dug their stuff this episode. So multiple times in the episode Ralph or Sue gets like caught in a really really bad situation. At one point Ralph gets beaten up and Sue saves his life due to her training. They do this nice little Kill Bill reference. I got trained by a blind sensei which never happened but yeah I just really enjoyed their stuff together like there was just so much good stuff like I think they really work really well together whether they're going to be in a relationship or not or if they're just like detective friends obviously the way the episode ends it doesn't end that way but I think it's going to go back that way very soon and so yeah Sue I really liked her I really really dug her and I'm really looking forward to see more of her and I think the twists and turns in this episode in regards to her character with her being revealed to be a criminal but at the same time she's not really a criminal she's like teetering on that line yeah she's stolen shit and done bad stuff but in her heart she's not that bad she's just you know doing this for the sake of it and she's not really thinking about you know the consequences and things like that but anyway so yeah she was great Ralph was great in this episode I think they really worked together and I can't wait to see more of that 
and they were especially very funny and very cute together, actually. So, additionally, Nash in this episode is very suspicious. Nash is basically caught in this basement, and Iris is there. Well, he's not really caught, but he's doing something right, and Iris is suspiciously looking for Nora's channel, which we know she's not actually looking for. I believe she was actually looking for the mirror gun. I could be wrong, but anyway, so Iris keeps on trying to get this mirror gun throughout the episode. She eventually gets it via the hands of Barry at the end of it, but let's quickly talk about Nash Wells. So there's this really interesting thing that keeps on going on, you know, these past few episodes. He keeps on seeing this other version of Harrison Wells. Whether it's Eobard Thorne version of Harrison Wells or Harry from Earth 2, I don't know. I feel like last episode I got the gist that it was Eobard Thorne. But this episode I got more the gist that it was Harry. So it remains to be seen, but what do you guys think about that? What do you think about Nash and this other version of Harrison Wells? So this version of Wells is talking to him essentially, and no one else can see him, it's in his mind. I don't know the true reasoning behind this yet, but we're going to find out obviously in the next few episodes. I believe in a few episodes time there's going to be a big sort of Harrison Wells episode. I think it's like episode 15 or 16, I think it's 16, could be wrong, but one of those episodes should lead to, you know, this sort of bigger reveal to do with what's happening with Harrison Wells and Nash in these past few episodes. And I noted down one line, and I really like this line, he says, So much unfinished business. So what is this unfinished business that this version of Harrison Wells, whether it's Harry or Eobard Thorne, what is he talking about? And, you know, the gist that I get from these past few episodes with the photos of him with Allegra and, you know, this version of Harrison Wells being very suspicious and sort of being in his head, I get the gist that this unfinished business is obviously linked to Allegra and potentially his mystery of potentially being like a father to Allegra or something like that. There is some sort of relation and I think this is the unfinished business that this version of Wells is talking about. I could be wrong, let me know your theories in the comments down below once again, because I think it's very open as of right now. So let's move on to the next bit, so the elongated man is revealed to Sue. This is sort of a bargaining thing, you know, towards the end of the episode, because, you know, now she knows his identity, so she's got, like, something on him, essentially. But also, you know, it was a really cool scene, she was very surprised, and I just thought it was really cool, he like sort of swung off the building and also he used his powers later in the episode as both of them break into a bank, they pretend to be Joe and also like just a random member of the police force and so he uses his powers again to get out and to save Sue and then Sue betrays him again and takes a diamond and it sort of goes on like that and it was very good, I liked that stuff, and so we have, you know, a piece of this mirror, like I said, it flings into the hands of Eva, you know, the sort of new mirror master, but I don't know if I should call her that yet, because she's not evil, she's just stuck there. And so she finds out she's a meta, she's got these powers, and she's going to be the reason why Iris and her break back into the real world. And what happens towards the end of the episode is they're still stuck in the mirror world, but it seems like Barry actually noticed something wrong with the mirror, or he like glanced towards it very kind of suspiciously, but then he sort of shrugged it off. So it seems like maybe there is going to be some form of like communication that she's able to do because she has these powers through the mirror to try and get her and Iris out. And I think this may have something to do obviously with this mirror version of Iris who is roaming around in the real world and she's got the mirror gun now. So I think there is going to be some sort of fight between the two of them very, very soon. So we have the stuff at the bank, like I said, Ralph gets betrayed and Sue gets away with the diamond and the ending is Sue with this diamond and it has the black hole logo on it. So is she a part of them? What has she got to do with black hole and why is she looking for this specific diamond? I'm not sure as of right now, but I found it really interesting the way they ended it with the black hole logo being on the diamond and the fact that she's got this newspaper article to do with like the owner. So she obviously knows quite a bit about black hole and maybe this leads into you know, how they play a bigger part in this back half of the season as the sort of new villains. But also we've got Godspeed coming. That's going to be talked about in tonight's trailer breakdown because that's another big thing we have to talk about. And so also in the fight scene towards the end of the episode, Ultraviolet Returns obviously links to Black Hole. She is just fine. She's never that good. 
but she keeps them reappearing because she's sort of this like assassin for Black Hole, so sh that's why she shows up. So it was a cool fight between Sue and Ultraviolet. I really, really liked the fight scenes this episode. I thought they were good. Barry ends up saving Ralph. Ralph reveals, oh, Sue is, you know, not who we thought she is. And yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you like this episode? And if you did, and if you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, leave your theories. And so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.